Hey, hey, Tony Gasson here. Listen to me. I want to talk to you about this. this. This question keeps coming up over and over and over. Should I tell a man I'm waiting? Should I tell a man I'm waiting? How to tell a man I'm waiting? Remember, listen to me. Share this with any and everybody who need this. What you have to understand is a grown boy, and that is majority of men, unfortunately, a grown boy can become a grown man now, understand that. But a grown boy is looking for a challenge. A grown boy is looking for a notch in his belt. So if you go to him and you say, I am waiting until marriage, and you tell him this up front, like first date, second date, third date, if you tell him at six month mark, that's different. But you, if you tell him in the first month or three months, he can set his sights on you to conquer you. And there are things that men can do to get a woman into the bed, even when she thinks she is committed to not getting in the bed. There are things men can do. Spirits know spirits. His spirit will be able to determine the weaknesses in your spirit. And I have worked with several people who were abstinent for years and then met someone with a spirit that they could not discern and they ended up on their back having sex with this man. And after it is done, they are crying they're heartbroken. They're so ashamed of themselves because you never know if you're going to be able to wait until marriage. It's different scenarios, different scenes, different settings, different feelings, different thoughts and emotions. And spiritual warfare is very real and it gets very hot and intense and high and hard to deal with. So understand, any of us, any of us can fall into fornication and or adultery. You have to remain humble. You got to be hungry. You got to be consistent, hungry for God's word, hungry for the knowledge. And what you have to understand is what you say you are going to do. That is between you and God. That is none of anyone else's business. Regardless of what anybody tells you out here, you do not owe it to anyone to tell them your life plans, especially before they are your life partner. The reason why an opponent or op ask you your plays for your playbook is so that they can create a def defense to stop your offense. The, when you go and you tell somebody what you plan to do, exactly what you plan to do, before you realize that this person is working against you, you are setting yourself up for failure because this person is an op until otherwise proven. So if you tell him or her what your goals and your plan is for your sacredness, for your sanctity, for your body, you will get exposed. And this can go either way with a man or a woman, because there will be women as well with a Jezebel spirit who come to steal, kill, and destroy. They want to devour a man's will to abstain from sex so that she can have power and control over him to get her bills paid and vice versa. A lot of men, a lot of men will put down some good D on a woman and do everything in the book to this woman so that she can loan him some money. So what you have to realize and understand is that this is very real. This is very real. And you have 
to be mindful. So listen to me. When you are dating someone, and I'm a, and this could be inverted, but I'm gonna speak from for the woman dating a man, because this is where it most often happens. I'll be surprised. If you are dating a man and you talking to him on the first date, second date, third date, whenever he says, you know, so how do you feel about sex? Are you waiting? Are you planning to wait? You tell him that and then we'll role play. So he say, so so what do you think about sex? Like, are you sexually active? Are you waiting? Then you could tell him, I'll know when I'm ready to have sex with someone. Then he says, well, how long does that take? I'll know when I know. I don't know how long it could take. So for some women, it might be first night. I've never seen myself want to do it on the first night. Could be first month. Could be first year. Could be the second year. You never know. It just depends on where I'm at in my life and this person. So are you waiting until marriage? I don't know. I can't speak for tomorrow. I know I'm waiting right now. I know that that's not really even a conversation you and I should be having. Oh, so we can't talk about sex. So what you trying to say? Oh, so you must be waiting until marriage. You just don't want to say it. But I know who Tony Gaskins is, ma'am. I know who Tony Gaskins is. Did you say, who is that? Oh, oh, my bad. I thought you, I thought you knew Tony Gasson. This sound like son Tony Gasson. Who, who? Oh, my bad, my bad. Never mind, nothing, nothing. So are you waiting? Like I just told you, I'll know when I'm ready to have sex. But let me ask you a question. Why are you so concerned with sex. Oh, what you what do you mean? Every man concerned with sex. No, I, I ain't asked you about every man. I said, why are you so concerned with sex? Oh, because I'm a man and that's a need. That's a man's need. What is needed about it? Uh what you mean? It's a need. Everybody needs it. It's just does it add years to your life? scientifically proven uh no so what is it like what what is the need what does it do for you um um well it's a it's like a release it like relieves stress it like build bonds it build so <clears throat> so a stranger a woman you don't know could relieve stress and you want to build a bond with a woman that you barely know Uh, I ain't say that. I ain't saying all of that. L listen, I'm just trying to have a conversation. Listen, okay, so how about them cowboys? Like, why are we talking about sex when we trying to order food? Like, I'm just curious, who have you been listening to? Because you mentioned somebody, Gasman. Who have you been listening to? You see what I'm saying? This is what you have to understand that you don't owe nobody no explanation. You don't owe nobody your whole game plan. But that is the goal of a grown boy. A grown boy comes in and he wants you to read him your script. And he wants you to read him your script so that he can pick a role in the movie of your life. And he finna come in and play a role until he get his Oscar. And then he dropping you like a bad habit and he moving on to the next movie role to try to get another Oscar. So you cannot read your whole script. You can't tell your whole plan. You got to be aloof. You got to be aloof. So that way you're able to then let him show you who he is. And what you have to be able to do, you got to spin it on this person male or female, 
and make them feel stupid for being a slave to a nut. That's what you're going to have to do. Point blank, period. Hey, this Tony Gaskin. God bless you. Think about this. This ain't easy for everybody. Practice it in the mirror. Work on it. And just stop telling your business. Because it hurt worse when you tell your business and you do so out of pride or you do so out of hope and then you fall on your back. It hurt worse. It do more damage. And you lose the, the trust of the person because now they don't know if this was just a game you was playing to look classy or to look holy or to look righteous. But you knew all along you were going to bust that thing wide open. And so this is what you have to be mindful of. Hey, to Tony Gaston, God bless you. We'll talk soon.